Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kooja. What's up? Now, in this video I want to talk about, I want to talk about the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. And I want to do it with my dad right over here. And not only that, we're going to talk about the Home Run Derby about Dave Ortiz. You know, Dave Ortiz has actually won the Home Run Derby. And we're also going to talk about a Yankee owner. His name is G George, George Steinbrenner. Thank you. George Steinbrenner. Brenner. Brenner, my bad. Brenner, who actually died at the age of 80. So we're going to talk about about that so right now let's talk about Dave Ortiz uh, home run derby so what are your thoughts about the about the home run derby well Big Poppy's always been a big hitter you know I mean he's been a consistent hitter even though he's been in a slump for a portion of this season um, he but he's always produced he's pro yeah, so it's not surprising that he ended up winning the the home run derby I'm kind of personally you know I was rooting for Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, yeah. we're Tigers. You know, we're Tiger, we're Tiger fans, fans. So yeah. Yeah. So I would have liked to have seen him win it because he's had a fantastic season. I mean, he's got twenty home runs. In a More season. than twenty home runs. Yeah. Well, he but he's but there's never been. He's 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 broken the record for the for the number of home runs for a Tiger, in a in this part of the season. So I mean, he's he's doing very really well. Yeah. So anyway, I would have liked to have seen him win, but unfortunately, you know, that did, it wasn't in the cards. But I'm glad that Big Poppy was able to pull it out. You know, he took drugs before he did this, right? Well, <laughs> who? Big Poppy. No, he didn't take no drugs. Dave Ortiz did take drugs. What kind of drugs? Antihistamines. Yeah. Steroids. He was tested and found. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. Oh, check wow. it out. You can check it out. Wow, yeah. that's too bad. I thought you knew that. No, I didn't. You should check it. So was he disqualified? No, 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 no. This was before it happened. This was before it, you know. You know okay, it okay, okay. All right, next we're going to talk about George Steinbrenner. 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 Right. The former Yankee owner. Well, the deceased Yankee owner, yeah. I mean, he bought the Yankees in the 70s for, I think it was like $8.5 million. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about the, 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 you told me that was funny about when he was uh, the owner. George Steinbrenner was just, was not an average owner. I mean, there are people who buy sports teams and then let the people who know how to run sports control them. And all they do is show up to the celebrity events or, or when they win a championship, they'll show up to get sprayed with champagne or in some cases, depending upon where their team is, they may do some PR that'll I'll always have them connected to the team, you know. So if they're in L.A., there's a celebrity party and the Lakers go to it, then the owner of the Lakers and his daughter will go to it. You know, so, so depending upon the market where the team is, the team owner will be more or less visible. But Steinbrenner was one who didn't, who believed in being very engaged in the development of his team. And he, at times, was the biggest problem with the Yankees. At the same time, sometimes he was the biggest, he was the biggest asset they had. Because cause Steinbrenner wanted the team to be a winner. He had, you know, he had been a kid growing up in, in Ohio and had loved the Yankees always and took his family's wealth and turned it into you know a money that was that allowed him to with investors give him an opportunity to uh, purchase the team when it was nobody cared about the Yankees. I mean this was the 70s so it was they were in really bad shape. And he bought it to make them winners again. And he did. He did. 1977, 1978. Well, you know, it they had to do something before the end of the 70s because they had had such a horrific, horrific the decade up to that point. You know, but I mean, he was he was very engaged with overseeing his managers, sometimes to the detriment of the managers. Um, but he also knew talent, and he believed that his job was to be able to buy the talent necessary to make a good team. Okay. See, I heard about George Steinbrenner, mm -hmm. and I remember there was like there was like a show on ESPN or something like that. Yeah, yeah, was there was a, the, there based was a, on the Yankees and yeah, there was a TV movie. Was, so I didn't know, but I but um, but I had a feeling that it was probably him. 
Yeah. And I saw this old act about them arguing about yeah. we've been swept by the Cincinnati, Cincinnati, uh, the Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati Reds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it's about. And yeah, well, they, the Yankees got beat up a lot by a lot of teams that are never in the conversation when it comes to the postseason today. I mean, they got they really got their their heads handed to them on several occasions by a number of teams. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about the about the Major League Baseball All Star Game. Oh man! Man, yeah, yes, you you gotta talk about this. For the first time in 13 years, the National League has defeated the American League, three to one. Your thoughts? Well, I want I now want the Detroit Tigers to beat the Yankees more than ever because um, I want them to be able to. Uh, I want them to be able to defeat the Chicago White Sox because it was the Sh- Chicago White Sox fault that the American League lost to the National League. Yeah. He he's a, a National League hater, so yeah. I don't you well, yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. I, I was born and raised in an American League city. Tell him that. I was born I was born and raised in American League City. I like the American League. I don't like the National League. You hate him. Okay, I hate them. Yeah, and since the National League won, all because of a one of, of the, the Chicago White Sox pitcher, I forgot his name. Yeah, he hates the White Sox now. Well, I I didn't like the White Sox before, mm. but I definitely have nothing for them now. Yeah, I, I mean, so. I like other teams that are. I like other baseball teams. I like the Red Sox. I have a soft heart, soft spot for the Cleveland Indians since they. They basically have been, you know, they history has really screwed them on several occasions. Yeah. But the White Sox, I couldn't care less about the White Sox. Oh, the Twins? Yeah, the Twins, you know, yeah, they're always competition for Detroit. But, you know, the Twins have a certain charm. I mean, I, mean, I, I like Detroit, and I like Detroit's chances actually this year a lot better than I did last year. But, um... But I'm not going to hate on the Twins. I just don't want them to win. I don't want them to get in the way of the Tigers. Did you but I really, that? really don't want to see the Chicago White Sox. Uh, yes, I would like to see the Chicago White Sox end their season somewhere below the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the White Sox. Yeah. I don't like the White Sox or the Twins. Yeah. I like the Royals. I feel sorry for the Indians. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna. But, yeah, it was yeah. So we're gonna root for the Tigers. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So you know, this is our uh, prediction. Yeah, Tigers going going into the postseason. That's right. Hey, honestly, do you think that that this year it could be the Tigers and the Padres once again? Um, I think that's. I mean, we have to see. We have to see how they play after the All Star game. Because the Padres are in first place. Yeah. Well, like I said, you have to see where we are after the All Star game. Yeah. This is after the All Star game. Well, they haven't played a game yet. Two, right, So they, we so, need to see where so they are. Overall, uh-huh. what did you think about this All Star game? Um, it wasn't as dramatic as some others. It wasn't as interesting as others. Uh, like I said, I would have liked to have seen the track record of the American League stretch out for another year. Actually, I like to see the American League never lose to the National League, but that's me. Um, but you know, we'll just have to win next year. Because you know the National League has more wins than the American League. Okay, you keep you keep bringing that fact up to me. Yes, do I? But why? <laughs> it's true. I understand that. I understand that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think my problem. I think the thing is about the about the All Star Game is that they forgot about that the All Star Game is a baseball game. Yeah. And. The, for the All Star Game, you know when we watched the All Star Game it was eight o'clock, yeah, and yeah. they go all this advertising yeah. and all this entertainment stuff. And I'm like, watching the baseball game. Well, but they do that. That's the part. That's the hoopla they put. It's, up. it's, the, it's like watching an the entertainment it, game. I know, I know, I know, I know. But that's unfortunately a lot of what most big industries do now. I wasn't really interested in the game to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they didn't give you much reason to be. Anyway. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. You know, this is my dad. Okay. This is my dad right here. Anything you had to say? Nope. 
No, okay. He, he has to do something now. So, yeah. Make sure you check